God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, March 26th. Today's devotional is based on Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited. But emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So the Lenten devotional series was produced by Luther Seminary in Minnesota. Martin Luther loved to compare our relationship with Christ to a marriage. He suggested that we picture Jesus as the bridegroom who falls in love with an unfaithful white bride, us. We know that when two people get married, they share debts and assets, as well as sorrows and joys. So picture the scene of this absurd wedding. Christ takes us, a most unlovely and implausible spouse, and in marriage of faith shares with us his love, forgiveness, and complete acceptance. He actually gives us these gifts, and we in turn give to him our fear, resentments, and guilt. All that we give him sends him to the cross where he dies our death. Luther called this the happy exchange. Others have labeled it the sweet swamp. We also lack the right words to describe this deep and wondrous and costly love that holds this couple together. Perhaps it is better to just take a knee and bow as Paul suggests in verse 10. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have taken us, the loveless ones, to be your very own. May that love create in us minds and hearts to serve you and your world. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and thank you for joining me throughout the week. I hope you have a safe and joyous weekend ahead of you, and until next time, whenever that may be, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.